Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have a new guy here, and he can say his name and his band and what he does and all that stuff. <laughs> my name is Robert Rosenbrook, and I'm a solo artist from uh, Richmond, Virginia. Awesome. So, Robert, usually I have a band on or something like that. So I'm curious kind of how you started out, why you kind of chose the solo uh, route as opposed to maybe like being in a band or something like that. Gotcha. So I originally wanted to be in a band. I was really, really trying for that. I actually moved to Richmond for school. I'll tell you. And I was hoping I would just um, find people to make a band with. But I got to the point where it was kind of like, um, not everyone wants to do what I'm trying to do. And it's kind of hard to find people who can also play the stuff I want to do too. So I just kind of decided to ban that entirely and just do a solo thing. And then what kind of, I like, obviously you're trying to find members, um, and I, I would assume that f future goal is to maybe, like, find people that want to play with you live um, as, you know, doing your solo work. So, um, like, how did you start out, like, playing guitar? Like, who, like, you know, like, what was kind of, like, the first instance of, like, okay, I want to be a solo artist, I want to do all this sort of stuff, like, I want to have my music out there, because that's, that's a big step, like, at least for my opinion, like, whenever <laughs> I see people put out their stuff as, like, a solo artist, I feel like it's a little bit, like, I feel like you want to do it, like, that's something you're passionate about, and, like, not to say that bands aren't passionate about what they do, because I don't want to, I don't want to, like, hate on them <laughs> a little bit, but, like, I feel like solo artists are, like, this is what I want to do, like, I'm putting a lot of energy into it, you know? Oh, definitely. Um, as for starting guitar, um, actually video games was a big part of that. You. Okay. Um, Legend of Zelda, I remember one of my friends was playing the Lost Wood theme like on acoustic guitar, and I was kind of like, well, I want you to teach me how to do that. And <laughs> he taught me how to do that, and it kind of just blew off from there. As for becoming a solo artist, um, Angel Vivaldi was kind of like the big guy who inspired me to do that, because he was one of the few guys that was like really doing that and did it successfully. And I actually had reached out to him like over um, Facebook Messenger, and I was like, "Hey, I'm kind of going through this, and what would you recommend like for me to do?" And he was kind of like, "Yeah, no, just do the solo thing, man." <laughs> <laughs> he's a super nice guy too. Shout outs to Angel. He's been on uh, a little while ago, so he's got to come back on again. But um, <laughs> it's really cool. Like uh, I always, I always think to myself like because I also play guitar as well and I, I think to myself like man I should like put out stuff like and then I get kind of like freaked out because I'm like oh man it's like something that like I'm not in a part of a band or something it's just like me <laughs> solo like I get a little bit apprehensive about it but you know I, I might have to take some cues from you and be like I just got to do it but uh that's awesome that, <laughs> Congra congrats on doing stuff solo like that's that's a hard hard road to follow but you know hopefully it works out but we're gonna move <laughs> into some other questions i don't know if you've played any shows yet but maybe you could tell me some favorite venues in richmond that you like going to see shows at in your fr in your free time yeah so i played here a couple times i played at the canal club okay cool. i played at um a place called gallery five and i think that's all the places so far in richmond but um as for venues, there was a place called Flora. I think they unfortunately closed down. That was really, really awesome. Um, Rod Barry is very, very sick. I got to see um, Animals as Leaders there. Tight. It was a really, really rad show. And Canal Club is also really awesome. And actually, I got to go see um, Angel Vivaldi not too long ago. And it was a guitar collective. It was really rad. Nice. And then there's a band that was the big one. Nice, nice, awesome. My next question to kind of follow up the venues I guess you kind of already answered it. What are what was the last show that you attended, or maybe some shows coming up that you're excited for? Yeah, definitely the last one was the Angel of Vivaldi one. Um, I wanted to go see Coheed and Cambria. I think it was like two weeks ago, oh, but tight. it just didn't work out. Um, as for shows coming up, um, I go to Virginia Commonwealth University for music, okay. so I kind of am familiar with a lot of the teachers and what they do. And so there's um, a jazz professor I'm really trying to go see, I think, not this Friday, but the next. That'd be super sick. Awesome. Awesome. You have to tell me all about that. Maybe when we're not <laughs> doing this, I'll have to check it out because uh, I wasn't like I wasn't like big into jazz early on. And now like I can't like I can't live without jazz. It's like cool stuff. So uh, I'm all about it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, my next question, Robert, probably the most important one. Tell me about your musical influences. Who inspired you to kind of like pick up the guitar? Oh, I think the first big influence I had was Avenged Sevenfold. I was really drawn to their music. Actually, um, their album, Sea of Evil, is still like 
one of my top four albums of all uh, all time. I really like the um, the orchestral element that they had. Not a lot of bands kind of were doing that. And I was really drawn to that. And um, as for like, shredders, um, Jackie Vincent, Jason Richardson, and Jason Becker were like the top three for me. And they all kind of had like the, um, the MIDI kind of programming kind of side to it too, which is I was really really into that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All great guitarists. Uh, I've been, uh, it was funny because, like, I wasn't super into Jackie Vincent, like, for a long time, just because I feel like I'm not, like, the biggest fan of Falling in Reverse, but I could respect like, his, his his guitar work in general. Um, but I'm glad that he's, he's doing his solo stuff now because I think he's a fantastic guitar player. It's just, like, that was kind of like the reason why i didn't really like pick up on falling in reverse early on and now i'm like man this is this is good stuff (laughs) yeah if you have the chance you should check out um i don't know this is power metal band they're pretty sick okay definitely yeah i'm always looking for some good like shred shred (laughs) tastical bands um jason richardson another phenomenal guitar player um great his his i've seen him many times and i I think he's (laughs) pretty much like flawless live it's insane so that's that's oh, awesome yeah. that's awesome my next question is rob another fun one if you got if you could pick a song to cover what would it be i would assume it's maybe a video game track but i don't know maybe you'll surprise oh me. man yeah i'm actually working on a cover right now i'm trying to do the uh, the great fairy fountain theme oh tight okay yeah very very stoked on that i don't want to say too much about it but it's coming <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That's sick. Gotta gotta rep the Zelda fam. I like that. That's totally <laughs> cool. I'm all about video games, which there's a question later on about that. But anyway, <laughs> another fun one. Gotta ask this. Favorite food to eat? Oh, man, that's a hard one. I go through phases. Do you ever do that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So um, a while ago, it was lo mein, and I like looked up how to like make lo mein and stuff like that. Oh, tight. But recently, it's uh, been calzones. Ooh, so I looked okay. up recipes on how to do that. I've been making them left and right. <laughs> That's how I felt with like sushi for like the past month, and then uh, my girlfriend and I went out uh, for like Valentine's Day for like sushi, and I just was like, I got off work and I was like super hungry, and I was just <laughs> like, I'll take one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we just ordered. I we ordered. I ordered way too much food. <laughs> And then we just had to eat all the sushi. So I feel like I'm going to take a break from that for now. But, okay. <laughs> but I'm going to come back. It's definitely something that I feel you. It comes in waves. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, next question, getting back into the music ones. If you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it be a producer you want to work with or a guest vocalist or guest guitarist on your next record, uh, who would it be? Oh, man. If I had anyone, I would love to have uh, Brendan Urie. From Panic Ooh, at the Disco. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, man, I'm such a big fan now. I wasn't a big fan of, like, their kind of, like, um the pop punk stuff back in the day. But the stuff they've been putting out recently that has, like, the kind of the jazz kind of stuff in it, really, really big fan of it. It's really, really cool. So he'd be like, the top one I'd love to have. I was going to say, I feel like with any of, like, Death of a Bachelor and, like, newer stuff, I feel like you could put a, like, cool, like, jazz kind of, like, fusion style like uh, music accompaniment to it for sure because i've his stuff kind of works with that and oh, yeah. he's not like opposed to doing anything metal stuff because i know he did like a vocal feature on, on like an every time i die track like with oh, the past couple years yeah that. yeah it was tight like he was like in the music video most people like would not expect that like everybody was like is that brendan yuri for like panic at the disco i'm like yeah that's kind of tight and they're like i might have to check this band out and i'm like I don't know, but like th- he's good on that one track, so you might you probably would enjoy that. But like he's, I feel like he's really a, like attuned to like metal music, so I it, it's mm-hmm. possible. So I'm gonna keep your fing- my fingers crossed for you, Rob, <laughs> to get it. That'd be sick. Hell yeah! <laughs> awesome. Next question: If you could play another musical instrument, uh, you know, super well, proficiently, what uh, instrument would you want to? Uh, probably piano. I think that's just such a really, really cool instrument. All the notes are just laid out in front of you. And, um, a couple of friends at school have been just showing me stuff they can do on the piano. It's been blowing my mind, all like the modulation, the key changes and stuff. Just super, super sick. And I keep telling myself, I think the next instrument I'm going to get is probably like an eight string guitar. 
Oh, just so that right. I have like more kind of like a piano like instrument with having more notes and stuff. Be really really rad. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. I could definitely say that because I I was like much like you. I listened to like a lot of Tosin Abasi, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna like learn how to do all the stuff he does, and I'll like watch his video, and I'll like hold my guitar in my lap, and then I'm like. Yeah, this isn't happening. I just put it down, and it's 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 oh, terrible. Yeah. I feel terrible for like not playing it enough, but also I'm like, I'm not gonna be like Tosa to Bossy either. So like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's tough. Dude, it's tough. <laughs> but uh, definitely go get get one. I mean, like they're they're really cool. I love the like extended range you can get with the two extra strings, and it just sounds like heavy. You know, it just sounds like oh, yeah. heavy, you know what I mean. So yeah, definitely yeah. definitely can recommend an eight string. Cool. or seven man they're cool as well but anyway we're getting into the next question uh like i was saying i'm a huge video game nerd so if you could be a video game character who would you be oh man um probably lloyd from tales of symphonia oh okay 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 yeah, he was my hero way back in the day <laughs> i feel like not enough people talk about that game so i'm glad you got a little bit of light to that, but I also figured I'd show you some of the, like, like I got a Zelda light. Oh, that's uh, sick. It's a little, like, 8-bit thing. It's cool. Um, But, yeah, I'm, like, I always love asking that question because I feel like most people are kind of, like, that listen to this type of music for some reason are, like, video game fans as well, too. So, like, that's, that's super cool. <laughs> that's always awesome. Um, My next question is, if you could compile a dream tour and you were on the lineup, obviously, who would who would be accompanying you? Oh man, any amount of bands. I feel like I feel like we should do like if we're just gonna do a shred fest. I feel like we should do like five bands. Okay, gotcha. So Angel Vivaldi, definitely. Jason Richardson, Becky Vincent, um, probably Avenged Sevenfold. Ooh, okay. And the the wild card, Panic at the Disco. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Is Brendan gonna be doing like some features throughout the night, like just to kind of keep it like succinct? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be actually kind of cool. I feel like that. Listen, I'm just saying. Rob and I got all the good ideas. Like, if you wanna, if you wanna take this idea and roll with it, <laughs> internet. Like, let's let's make it happen because that'd be kind of cool. I'd be about that. I pitch it somewhere, man. Start making some more money. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. My next question, Rob, to kind of follow up uh, the best tour lineup that you could think of. Uh, who, in your opinion, who puts on a great live show? Uh, Angel Vivaldi, when I saw him, that was just amazing. Really, really fantastic. It was really cool to see him just kind of dancing around, but still, like, being really accurate while hitting like notes. And it's possible, but he showed me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I always, like, I'll see, like, videos of him, and I've seen him play, too, because uh, we are both from Jer New Jersey. Um, mm. But, like, it's nuts. Like, I don't know how he, like, dances around, still hits, like, all these notes and stuff. I'd be, like, more worried about, like, hitting the notes rather than, like, dancing, like, super well. So the yeah, way that same. he's able to do, like, both proficiently is, like, blows my mind. It's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. My next question, Rob, is another fun one. Favorite TV show, favorite movie? Oh, man. Favorite TV show is probably South Park. Ooh, good one. Yeah, favorite movie? It's kind of a tough one. I'm not too big of like a movie person. I've been really into like, the uh, Marvel movies recently, though. Okay, sick. Yeah, so probably just going to roll with like Infinity War. I just watched that one last night. So. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely a good one. I'm excited for this summer. You know, Captain Marvel is coming out really soon, and obviously the the end yeah. end of an uh, end of Marvel End Game kind of a thing is gonna be sick. Yeah, definitely. Awesome, awesome. My next question, Rob: If you're trapped on a desert island for the next month, and there was only one album you could bring with you, what would it be? That's a rough one. <laughs> Uh, probably CD Evil by Ben Sevenfold. I think I get a lot out of that one. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a that's that's a classic. You know, that's I feel like we're kind of in the same age range, so I can I can say like <laughs> I like you know, Avenged Sevenfold during that time was just like pinnacle of like m great metal music. So definitely, yeah, I definitely like that answer a lot. That's a good one. Um, but lastly, Rob, tell me about you 
where they can find you at, and uh, anything coming up in the next couple months. Gotcha. So you can find me on at Robert Rosenbrook, also on Spotify and Instagram with the same handle. I'm working on some new music, some new covers. Might be putting out a single some soon. It's kind of up in the air right now, but it's coming. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, definitely go check out his YouTube channel. There's going to be a link at the end card to w go check out his channel. Please, like, his guitar work is sick. Definitely love getting those, like, solo guitar players on here because I am also a guitar player, so I feel like I have to owe that sort of respect to people that do that <laughs> sort of stuff. Um, but definitely go check his music out. Links in the description where you can find out about Rob all and all of his solo endeavors. So go give it a listen. Shouts to Reddit again holding it down really uh they, they're really killing it so if you happen to find me anywhere on the internet feel free to email us if you want to get on this but thanks of course to rob for coming on man thank you <laughs> all right hey guys hope you enjoyed the video uh thanks for watching of course uh if you enjoy what we do make sure to go check out the other series we do we do album reviews we do band interviews and we do live videos so definitely go check that out um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media, that's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!